Hello and welcome to Percentage, the show where contestants work together and against each other in an attempt to leave with a large percentage of the £50,000 prize. Let's meet today's contestants. Hi, I'm Sheila, a social researcher from Leeds. I'm David, I'm 27, I'm a technical support agent from Somerset. Well, welcome to the show, both of you. Sheila, uh, social researcher. Research. Okay, so you've done a lot of research in your time. You're presumably going to be good at everything. Well, <laughs> I'd like to think so. And uh, David from Western Supermare, does that give you any, uh, any particular advantage over in any subject? If it's about cues for ice cream, then I'm right in there. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you hoping to spend the money on should you walk away today with the top prize of 50000 uh, I'd be hoping to get a, a nice new car and then maybe go on a holiday somewhere. Very nice. Good luck going on a holiday during a global pandemic. <laughs> How about you, Sheila? Uh, well, when we are out of the global pandemic, I would like to travel more. I have a brother in America and I'd like to see him and family in the West Indies. So Very I'll nice. go towards that. Well, hopefully you can win that money today and that will go a long way to, to paying for the travel. So mm. good luck to you both. And thanks very much for coming on the show. Now, over the course of the show, we will be playing three rounds. Percentage builder, percentage divider and final percentage. At the end of the game, only one of you can leave with a percentage of the money. Before we find out who that'll be though, we start with round one, the percentage builder. Let's play percentage. In the percentage builder round, our contestants will put their brains together to try and answer questions from five different categories. The team will nominate one player to step forward who will be presented with three subcategories. After selecting one of these, our chosen contestant then takes on up to three questions of increasing difficulty. The first question is worth 3%, the second question is worth 7%, and the third question is worth 10%. After each question, the player can choose to keep the percentage they have earned in that category or risk losing it by taking on another question. Are you ready, team? Yeah, ready. Good. Let's build your percentage. So, the first category of our five today is film film so have a little discussion as to who you think would be best served um, answering questions on film depending on the sort of films i'll say yeah. i've got decent enough film knowledge i'll so. let you take this one yeah David, happy thank to. you no worries uh, okay. i'll take it please david's going to be the first to stick his head above the parapet good luck to you here are your three subcategories on film to choose from horror films marvel actors or harry potter I'll take Harry Potter, please. Harry Potter? Okay. Good luck. Hope you've been studying at Hogwarts recently. <laughs> I didn't get my owl. You didn't? Oh dear. Well, here comes your first question. This is an easy one. This is for 3%. So it should be fairly straightforward for you. What is the pen name of the English author who wrote Harry Potter? Uh, J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling is the right answer. So no dramas there. Nice, easy one. Under your belt, 3%. Got to feel good about that, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. You might not feel good about the next one though. <laughs> Should you take it? It's for 7%. It's a medium question. Do you want to stay with that three or do you want to go for it? I'll go for it, please. Okay, for another 7% or possibly for zero if you get it wrong. What object must be caught in order to end a Quidditch match? A golden snitch. It's the right answer, well done. Doing well so far, this is a good decision. Good decision to go with Harry Potter. Now the question is, are you feeling in the zone to go for the hard question or do you want to just stick with it as it is? I'll go for it please. Whoa, fighting talk, <laughs> okay, he's gonna go for it. Bearing in mind, you could walk away with nothing here. The hard question for 10%. In which film do Draco and Harry engage in a wizard duel? So you have a chance here, you can guess out of the, the eight movies. In which film do Draco and Harry engage in a wizard duel? I think it's where the snake comes and he talks to the snake, so I would say that's Chamber of Secrets. You'd say it correctly. Ooh. Chamber of Secrets is the right answer. Well done, David. Wow. Wow. 20%. <laughs> We did a Harry Potter marathon. That's <laughs> good. Ago, so. Yeah, that's a misspent uh, youth if ever I saw it. <laughs> so we're going to move on now to the next category. 20% is in the bank. That's going to be untouchable, which is good news. But the next category is food and drink. Who wants to take food and drink? I don't mind taking it. Yeah. Sheila, you're going to step forward for this one. Good luck. Here we go. The subcategories are chocolate, 
fast food restaurants or Italian cuisine? Fast food restaurants, please. Fast food restaurants, it is then. This is your easy question for 3%, so it should be fairly straightforward. No pressure. <laughs> Super, Super Size Me, made by filmmaker Morgan Spurlock, is a documentary surrounding which fast food chain? McDonald's. That's the right answer. Well done. Well done. That's 3%. So, doing really well at the moment. You haven't got a single question wrong between you. It can only go downhill from here. Now, do you want to go for the medium question or do you want to stay with that? Go with the medium, please. Okay, medium question it is 7%. Which Asian country has a nationwide tradition of celebrating Christmas Day with KFC? I'm going to say China. What's the wrong answer? It's Japan, China. Unlucky. Worth a try, though. Worth a try. And you only lose out on 3%, so look at it that way. So we're still at 20. That's good. Plenty of questions to go. We're going to move on now to the next category, which is music. Music. Hands on the music yeah, to be totally on it's such a broad let, I'll let you go and then. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy to take it, absolutely. You're going to take music? Yes, please, yeah. Okay, subcategories are rap music. Don't like the look of that one, do you? <laughs> 1990s groups or the Beatles? I'll go for 1990s groups, please. Okay. Good luck. First question, the easy one for 3%. The 90s hit makers Ace of Bass are from which Scandinavian country? Um, Norway. No way is what I'm going to say <laughs> to Norway. The answer is Sweden. Ah, yeah. oh, it's one of them. Okay, that should make you feel a little bit better, Sheila, yeah. that he's just messed that up. Great. Your chance to come back into the frame now, should you pick this subject. The category is words. Words. I'd like to go. For yeah, you can't go. Sheila, so you're taking it in turns. <laughs> very good, very diplomatic. Here we go, here's the question on words, or the subcategories. Spellings, meanings, and languages. Spellings, meanings, and languages. Meanings, please. Meanings, okay. So, still on 20%. This is for 3%. Originating from Latin, the root quad refers to which number? Number four. Number four is right, and number four is the score on the doors, and the scores on the doors are 3% to you. <laughs> We're going to move on now to the medium question, should you wish to take it, or you can stick with that 3%. Oh, I'm going to go for You're it. You're going to go for it, why not? What is a three-letter prefix that can mean under or one small part of a larger thing? What is a three-letter prefix that can mean under or one small part of a larger thing? No, sorry, it's sub. Yeah. Sub zero. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, when you're when you're I had in the Italian in my head that yeah. would work. <laughs> right, studio lights, it's easy at home, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well, oh well. Still still got the 20% and we move now to the final category, which is science. So you've had two each. This this is a free-for-all really. Whoever you think is Not the nice. strongest for science. I'll, I'll have to take it. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that, please. David's gonna take it. Okay. Subcategories are inventions, chemical elements, or the human body. I'll go for chemical elements, please. Oh, wow. Go for the pretty much the hardest one there, surely. <laughs> That's what everyone will be thinking at home. Okay, good luck. The easy question, if such a thing exists <laughs> in chemistry, for 3%, how many chemical elements make up water? The two elements. That is correct. That is correct. Well done. Three percent. Can we move on to the medium? Yes, please. Sir. All right. Which chemical element is represented by the letter K on the periodic table? Potassium. That's the right answer. Yeah. Well done, David. Now, do you want to stay with that ten percent you've got there, or do you want to go and double it, or lose <laughs> it possibly? It's double or quits for the hard question. Um, you can go, Daddy. Okay. Yeah, we'll go for it. And I'll go for it. Wow. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Very best of luck. How many naturally occurring noble gases are there? How many naturally occurring noble gases are there? Six. Looks like you were working that out. <laughs> Six is the right Yay. answer. Well done. well done. Great stuff. So, you've completed it. That's the five subcategories. That concludes round one.
and after your percentage builder, you have earned a total of £20,000. How do you feel about that? Great. Thank you, David, for putting all <laughs> yeah. that in. <laughs> I well, you never know. As well. He's done all the work, and then you might come in at <laughs> yeah. the end now and just take away the, all like. the money. That's how it works. <laughs> but that's not yeah. bad at all. 20000 is a very decent amount of money you'll be able to do a lot with. So hopefully you'll be able to take away as much of that as you can. Now, it's time to find out which one of you will be crowned the winner of today's episode, and we'll go on to play in round three, the final round. In order to find out who that will be, let's play round two, Percentage Divider. In this round, we've not only separated the team, but we've also separated the percentage. Both of our players start on 50% of the money they earn together in round one, but they must now work against each other by answering 10 general knowledge questions worth increasing amounts of percentage, going from 1% all the way up to 10%. The first player to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer correctly, and the player steals that question's percentage value from their opponent. However, if they answer incorrectly, their opponent steals that question's percentage value from them. If no one buzzes in, no one's percentage changes. Let's divide your percentage. Question one for 1%. What number is a baker's dozen? Yes, Sheila. 13. 13 is the right answer. You are off and running with 51%. Question two is for 2%. What is Dwayne Johnson's... Yes, Sheila again. The Rock. the Rock is the right answer. Off to a flyer there, that's another 2% to you. The next question, though, can level it, David. It's 3%. The Battle of Hastings. Yes, Sheila. 1066. Well anticipated, it is 1066. We move on to question four. Still all to play for, for 4%. What is Shakespeare's longest play by word count? Yes, Sheila. The Tempest. Is the wrong answer. Oh, oh it's Hamlet. So that 4% oh. goes over to David. So that levels it up uh, a little bit now. We are moving on now to question five. Question five is for 5%. What is the name of Manchester United's home ground? Yes, David. Old Trafford. Old Trafford is the right answer. You take the lead. That is 5% to you, and Sheila, mm -hmm. you are playing catch-up, but you can do it straight away with this next question for 6%, which will take you into the lead. The US Republican Party is represented by a symbol of what animal? Yes, Sheila. An ox. An ox is the wrong answer, I'm afraid. It's an elephant. <laughs> And so far, by not saying anything, it looks like Dave is getting back into it. You're coming in with the, the, right with the butter, but the wrong answer. <laughs> but it could work your way. We're going to move on to question seven. Dave is now in the lead with 59%. You're on 41%. So this will level it up a little bit. Rolex is a luxury watch. Yes, Sheila. Switzerland. Is the right answer. Yeah. Oh, it worked this time. It worked this time. You're back in it. So, that has levelled it right up now. You're 48%. David, you're on 52%. We have three questions left. And this next question is for 8%. Who was the first black actor to win an Oscar? Yes, Sheila. Hetty. Oh, gosh. I can't remember. I know who you were going for. It's Hetty from Gone with the Wind, Brent. wasn't it? It's the wrong answer, oh, anyway. I'm afraid. Okay. It was Sidney Poitier was the answer that we were looking for, which means that David takes that. We had two questions left. He's on 60% and you're on 40%. Still come back into this. In Portal 2, Wheatley is voiced by which British comedian? Yes, David. Stephen Merchant. Is the right answer. And you take that one into a commanding lead, which means we have just one question left for 10%. What is the highest grossing Pixar film of all time? Is it worth a guess? Or are we going to have to time you out here? I'm going to have to time you out. No, Sheila's going for it. Toy Story. It's wrong, I'm afraid, but worth a, <laughs> worth a go. Worth it. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> worth a go. The answer is The Incredibles 2. Oh, so wow. there you go. That brings us to the end of the round, and after all 10 questions, the winner of today's show receiving the percentage trophy and going on to play in the final round is David.
The amount of money that you are going for is £15,800 in the final round, so not bad at all. Sheila, what can I say? It was you were a bit trigger happy on the yeah, on the buzzer, so. but I, I should have learned. Yeah. It worked. It worked really well though when you came into Switzerland. But there was a couple of times yeah, where you were just exactly, handing exactly. handing the points over to David. But thank yeah. you very much for thank playing. You. Thank you. It's been a great day. Absolutely brilliant. Thank Fantastic. you. And thank you very much for joining thank us, Sheila. You. Thank Cheers. you, David. What can I say? Sometimes sitting there doing nothing <laughs> is the way forward. <laughs> it's my motto. Yep. Slacking is it works on this show. Uh, but you are into the final round. Congratulations, and you will be leaving here with the percentage trophy. But now it's time for round three. Let's play final percentage. In our final round, today's winner will be playing for a percentage of the money they took through from round two. To do this, they must answer five questions correctly in under 120 seconds. The number of seconds that David has remaining after successfully answering five questions becomes the percentage of money that he may leave with today. For example, if he gets five questions right with 70 seconds left, then he leaves with 70% of the money. He can leave with 100% of the money if he completes this round with over 100 seconds left. David, are you ready? I'm ready. 15,800 pounds up for grabs. Let's calculate your final percentage. Start the clock. Which environmental activist said you are never too small to make a difference? Pass. It was Greta Thunberg. The Battle of Kursk in World War II was fought in which modern day country? Belgium. Russia. How many books are in the Protestant Bible? Two. 66. Which American songwriter composed the Simpsons theme tune? Pass. Danny Elfman. Ice fish are the only fish that do not have what coloured uh, cell, blood cells? Red is the right answer. What is the longest London Underground line? Circle. Central line. Which British comedian who has previously hosted the BAFTAs co-founded the comic relief charity? Uh, Lenny Henry. Lenny Henry's right. What state is Mount Rushmore located in? Colorado. South Dakota. In what year were same-sex marriages legislated in Scotland? 2010. 2014. The birth of Venus was painted by which Renaissance artist? Michelangelo. Botticelli. Which Star Wars movie premiered in 1983? Uh, Return of the Jedi. Correct. What is the study of insects known as? Insectology. Entomology. <laughs> what is the most sold video game of all time? Grand Theft Auto 5. Minecraft. The Pope is the bishop of which European capital city? The Rome. Rome is the right answer. You need one more. In 2012, British comedian David Mitchell married the presenter of which U BBC game show? Uh, mastermind. Only connect. How many holes are there in a professional round of golf? 18. Is the right answer. Stop the clock. Well done. Well done. 33 seconds left, David. That is £5,214 that you have won today. Congratulations to you. How do you feel? Brilliant, thank you. Yeah. Well, over five grand, what are you gonna spend that on? i definitely get myself uh, at least a deposit on a nice new car and then probably go on holiday with the family. Good luck with that. So <laughs> 5,000 pounds, you'll have to stretch that a little bit for a car and a holiday, a, but. A deposit for a car. A deposit a for a car. A very small deposit. And uh, you did really, really well. 33 seconds left, that's a very decent score. Thank you very much for coming in. Cheers, thank and, you. And uh, enjoy the holiday. Cheers. Thanks for playing, David, and thanks to you at home for watching. We'll see you next week on Percentage.